Good afternoon, it's 4.15 in the afternoon, Tuesday the 10th of May, I know you said April, I'm going backwards, <laughs> 2016. <clears throat> I've just spent most, of, well, I haven't actually spent most of the day sitting here, most of the day so far sitting here. Um, but I did meet up with mum in town for about an hour or so. Oh See, not a lot bothers him. Mm. Oh dear. Well, it looks like our summer's gone. We've gone back to winter now. That's all it's done all day is drizzle on and off. <clears throat> oh yes, and uh, this little silver citron right there. It's the culprit that likes to uh, drive onto this car park, slam his brakes on and skid, then stick it in reverse, wheel spin, park up in that far corner and uh, slam his brakes on again and skid at uh, quarter to seven in the mornings, every morning. Because he woke me up this morning as well. He actually woke me up. So I sort of figured that, that was the last straw and uh, well I politely emailed the company that <coughs> does it. I won't snort you about it, it's not fair. <coughs> I just don't appreciate being woken up. Especially when I've got a fucking sinus headache. It's all right in here. And it's one of them where it's absolutely fine, like it is now, then all of a sudden you just get this sort of throbbing ache. It's horrible. Anyway, I'm coming here for a raison. And that the raison is this. That's the Disney Tailspin game I bought. I'll pop that into my machine. I can turn on the old CRTV. CRT TV. No idea why I'm putting on a stupid accent. Now I tried this last night, it did take me a few attempts to get it to actually work, so is it going to work? Is it going to work? Nope. Give it a bang. That's going to work now. It should do. There we go. Good old cartridge games. I know it's not the console because I had this problem last night. I tried some of the other games and they uh, worked fine. Although that is looking dark. <laughs> 1992. <clears throat> I was going to say that was going to not go into demo mode. I've got the volume turned off deliberately. That does work, so I can leave uh, positive feedback for it at least. I might just tweak the brightness on this if I can. Is there like a menu button down here? Or am I going to have to find it on the universal remote? Oh well, I'm going to turn it off anyway and uh, put that on me stack so I've just got to wait for the others to arrive. <clears throat> I've got another two so that will mean I'll have eight Mega Drive games in total. And that's where the remote is. I was looking for that. Hmm. Maybe the OK button on this would act as the uh, menu for this, I don't know. I'll have to play. I'm going to have to take some bloody painkillers shortly. <coughs> uh, plug in the PCs, I'm going to have a play with that PC right down there, the end one. See if I can get... Um, 
thingamajig working. Oh, box of plugs, they don't need to be over there. Got a lid for those, and what have I done with the lid? There's the lid. This and that memory should all go in the kitchen, to be honest. That's what I think of that. <laughs> there we go. So that's that sword? Pardon me, I'm expecting my games to arrive either tomorrow or Thursday. They should arrive anyway. They bloody well better arrive. <clears throat> Just think how many games I could actually stack up here if I got them without the case cases. I'm not fussed about the cases, I just want the games. They can sit up here quite nicely. Oh, that reminds me. I've just got to check eBay. Because uh, I am watching a bunch of Master System games that I will want to get tomorrow. Or tomorrow night. And I was just watching someone playing around with vintage CRT TVs. Right, go to eBay. Go to my eBay. How are we diddling? Spy versus Spy, one bid, 99p. Cool spot, no bids, 99p. Uh, lemmings, no bids. Oh no, sorry, I misread. One bid, 99p. I swear that one didn't have a bid earlier when I was looking. Asterix. No bids, 99p. Ghost House is up to £1.70. Enduro Racer. No bids, 99p. Rampage. One bid, 99p. Hmm. And there's... Well, on the top one, three hours, three minutes. Because my e watch, uh, my watching list, and my eBay um, lists them as a ending first. So, yeah. And I might, if I have the spare cash, go for one of these bundles. 20 quid, but let's have a look. I can't remember what's in this bundle. Enduro Racer, Action Fighter, Tasmania, Teddy Boy, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, ESWAT, Olympic Gold, World Soccer. Well, I'm not fussed about the two sports ones, but I'm not a sporty person. And there's eight games for 20 quid. I don't think that's actually a bad deal, to be honest. And the same seller's got this bundle as well. And we've got The Simpsons, Cool Spot, Shadow of the Beast, Shinobi, Rescue Mission, Secret Command, Speedball 2, and Wimbledon. Four people watching that one as well. I'm only going to look at his other items, see if he's got any other bundles like that. Ah, he's selling some boxed ones separately. I don't blame him at all, to be honest. He's got an Asterix boxed. Fantasy Zone. Alex Kidd. In Shinobi World. Hmm. That's tempting. Ooh, I didn't know they did that. Sega Master System Competition Pro Honeybee Turbo Controller. Ooh. Now this, my Master System didn't come with a proper RF drive, but uh, not drive, RF cable. I don't matter, it still work. He has got other games bundles. 
So which bloody one am I watching then? I'm watching this one. I am watching that one. Uh, what about this one? Desert Speed Trap, Spider-Man, Action Fighter, The Ninja. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Winter Olympics, Olympic Gold, and Populous. Ooh, I'm gonna watch that one. There's a few in there I want. Some more box to games. Prince of Persia unbox. Is that it? That's it. Just one page. Yeah. I'm going to have to see what goodies I can sell to get some more goodie games. So if that ends in three hours and three, well probably three hours now. Two hours, 59 minutes, what time? 7.23. So if I come back to eBay around about seven o'clock, we should be good. All right. I'm going to turn the camera off. No idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'll think of something. What post in the classic car graveyard needs approval, does it? Yay, photos, yay, photo. No video, rather. Just... There we go. Solid. Right, I'm going to bugger off for a bit. Hi guys. <clears throat> I do apologise. No shirt again, but I am itching like a bitch. I need a bath, but uh, I'm postponing that just shortly. Well, for about an hour, because uh, I'm bidding on items on eBay. I've already won one of the PS... PS... Master System games that I was wanting. I'm now watching the next one in the list. I've got eight minutes left. Uh, I'm just going to gradually work through the list like that and uh, see how many I can win. No one's bid on Cool Spot yet, so I may be the only binner. I'm binner. I can't talk. I might be the only bidder. Um, hopefully they'll do a combined shipping of all of these. It should only cost about £2.80 to post a lot. That's the daft thing with our postal service. It costs £2.80 just to post one, because an item like this is too big to go as a large letter. Or it might, actually. Just. <laughs> um, but up to a certain weight, I think it's two kilograms, and the box of a certain size. It's £2.80, so... You are actually... So long as the seller does combine shipping, and 99% of them do, you're better off buying in bulk, if you can. So, uh, yeah, I'm just waiting here. He's got 98.9% .9 feedback. Or she. I'm guessing this is a female seller because she's put little kisses at the end of her um, auction listing in the description. And her name is Karma81. Now I know that, well not only is Karma, you know, that horrible thing that always comes back and bites you in the ass, it's also a girl's name. Because I know a Karma. <laughs> I know a Karma because she lives just up there. <laughs> we used to uh, hang around a lot when we were kids. I'm watching um, a game called Cool Spot. I don't know why I moved the camera in. I've got a fucking zoom on this, haven't I? Look. Try using it once in a while, you dipstick. Right. Oh, did you know? Apparently, this Panasonic. It, oh, it's an SDR S50 that I'm using. Apparently, it, you could have had an optional 64 gigabyte. SD card. 
This has got a 16 in it, which is plenty big enough for what I do. Because I always delete the footage when I'm done with it. You know, once I've got the video made up and put together on the PC and uploaded, I delete the footage off the vi uh, memory card anyway. Because it's not needed. And it will just confuse my little mind when I record more footage and then I'll just sit there and think, now what videos do I need? <laughs> what clips was it? <laughs> Yeah, my mind can be easily confused. What we got? Five minutes left. <sighs> I've had a bit of a clean up down here as well because uh, I've got bid no scale extracts. I've done some research on eBay. They're just not worth anything. If it was the full size stuff, the full size track, and the full size cars, then it would have been worth sticking it on eBay. But uh, no one seems to want the micro set, so. I'm not going to bother. It's not worth wasting my time over, so... To the dump it goes. I've salvaged some interesting bits and pieces, though. Here's, um... The variable resistor coil that's in the controller. There's, like, a, a copper wiper that just wipes along that. And obviously, at different points along here, you get a different voltage, which is, controls the speed of the car. And I presume that's how they um, get the 12 volt out to the track. Because I presume when, when you max out your controller, that maxes out at 12 volt. Um, I've got this one here. He's come out of the other um, Hornby controllers. He's come out of the um, Transformers Hornby controller. As I've got two of these and two of the other ones. And I don't normally keep things like this, but uh, I decided to keep some springs. I don't know, I just thought they might be a little useful device to keep hold of, some of them. Oh, there's the other one, put that over there. Can't get hold of it. <laughs> yeah, but the rest, the cars I probably won't bin, but the rest I'll bin. So how are we doing? Oh, three minutes already. Right, I just want to update you on that. Um, Next time I'll have the camera on, or will be, after I've had a bath. Or, once these auctions are done, actually, so I can update you on what games I've won. And lost, if I lose any. So, um, I'll be back. It's half seven now, so I'll be back round about 8.30. Well, as promised, I said I'd be back once the auctions have ended. I managed to nab seven of the games at least um, the most expensive being £3.20 which was Sonic the Hedgehog Chaos Saga uh, but the other ones I got were Cool Spot, Asterix, Lemmings, Black Belt, Spy vs Spy and Enduro Racer I wanted Rampage but um, I got bid in the last five seconds oddly enough um, so my grand total is that counting postage £12.60 taken off so I think he's charging a little bit more than the minimum bar on there ah, da, 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 da. and this is working with a two gigabyte memory card in it um, I've got one of those memory card adapters that take the little mobile phone SD cards. It basically looks like one of these. A little slot in the bottom and you put your mobile phone card in there. Um, didn't like the 4 gigabyte one but I put the 2 gigabyte one in there and it's sitting there merrily with it. So that's not a bad size. This one, for some reason, every time I unplug the power like that, I bet if I now plug it back in and turn it on, it's going to ask me to hit the reset button. Um, I've put the next largest one I've got into this one, which is a 512 megabyte. I'll see if I can grab a 2 gigabyte card. It's cheap enough, I'm sure. As people always want large cards nowadays, I'm sure I can find one of these on eBay cheap enough. 
I don't even know why I keep these bloody things, to be honest. I mean, what's the point in keeping the 8 gigabyte one? 8 megabyte one, rather. You need gigabytes, not megabytes, these days. Right, so technically, that's now perfectly usable. Vidya cam. Oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. Let's see if the videotape out of this one will fit in one of them so I could actually set one up to use around here. No idea how long two gigabytes is going to give me. Um, four gigabytes used to give me about an hour and a half, so probably about 45 minutes on two gigabyte. Sure, I saw my friend sign in. I did see him sign in. Pardon me. <laughs> Go away. I want a bath. Might get rid of some of this infernal frickin' itching. I've put a 256 megabyte card in there because uh, I don't need anything bigger. <laughs> Not really. It's only for photos, so that'll do. Well, to be more precise, it's only for photos uh, that I take when I'm selling items, so yeah, I figured that will do. It was either that or 128 megabyte. I might actually swap and put the um, 2 gigabyte card in this one and have that one as the spare. Then maybe I could just use this one. I don't want to go out and about. I wanted to go out and about today, but uh, one, <laughs> mum turned up, and two, it's been raining. Actually, it looks like it's drying up a bit out there. Eh. If it's dry tomorrow, I might go on my little ride that I wanted to do this week. Can you hear that, Blackbird? <laughs> You've got the arse ache about something. Something's pissed him off. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off, because, like I said, I want a bath. It's a bit before half eight, by the way. Uh, <laughs> you need to put some of these cameras away. Don't know what I'm going to do with that cannon. Um, sell it as spares, repairs, maybe, you know. Charger required. Tested, working, you know. I can uh, flick the screen and show it turned on at least. Or do I keep the damn thing as a, sp you know, as a spare play toy thing? I don't know. But if we're going to keep one of these as a spare camera, I might as well keep both, as they're identical. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put the memory card from this one into that one, because I believe that's the one that doesn't come up with the... Uh, please hit the reset button thing. Uh, I've got a couple of seven and a half volt chargers I want to try as well. Uh, but I'll do that after a bath, so talk to you later. Not got a bath yet. Because I'm being chatted to on Facebook and Yahoo. <sighs> Did you just see that? That went off. That's what that one and that one keep doing. Actually, that's what most of them keep doing for some reason. But all I've got to do is I find a switch. Switch on. See, that one's just done it as well. And I've only just, literally only just uh, turned that one off and on again. The other way I can do it. So we turn the main light on. Then they come back on. And then they'll go off again. See? <laughs> it's a good game that is. Well that one's gone straight off.
most of them I bought do that and it's annoying. It really is fucking annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get something of better quality. Right, I'm gonna try and have a friggin' bath. I'm getting tired. It's five past midnight. And this is my second attempt at this clip. Uh, and when I've got an itch. Alright. Um, mine's gone completely blank now. Keep wanting to shut the PC off, but can't because I've got to, uh, you know, put this video together, which will take me about 20 minutes by the time it's saved as well. And then I don't know how long to upload it, it depends on my internet. Just make a new folder ready. Get rid of that video. I'm out of Lego videos now. I've got to make some more. Oh. Right. Uh. Oh. Um. Keep wanting to find things I can stick on eBay. I've got nothing I can stick on eBay. Not that's worth it anyway. Got lots of shit that's worth fuck all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it won't be long before I go to bed, I think. Don't buy crappy solar lights, will you? That one's actually working really well. But that one, and that one, they go off seconds after I do this, if I do this. Oh, that one stays on, so that one's gone faulty as well. And then them two, as I showed earlier in the video, will go off. And that one isn't going off when I turn the light on for some reason. Um, I don't know why that is. I might take them apart and have a look tomorrow. Just for the hell of it. What are you doing, boss? I think he's waiting for me to go to bed as well. Right, so I've got another seven. I think we're going to knock it off with the Master System games for a bit now. I'm going to pay for those tomorrow night. I have messaged the seller. Uh, two more Mega Drive games to arrive. Hopefully tomorrow. And three, ma three, four Master System games to arrive. And then seven Master System games that I won tonight. And the non-boxed non Master System games will go in here. That's why I've left that. On the very rare occasion I have seen Master System and Mega Drive games in charity shops. But like I said, it's been on a rare occasion. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, can't believe how much they're going for, especially the boxed ones. Apparently this one's a good one. I'm going to have to play this one. Because Golden Axe is apparently a good one. I believe you can get it on the Mega Drive as well. Mm. That was.
was nasty. <laughs> I wouldn't mind trying to get hold of a Mega Drive 1 as well. Um, 2. And a Genesis, possibly. Maybe. But I would like to add a Nintendo to this collection, like a Nintendo 64. The, um direct opponent back in the day for the PlayStation. What black paint on my bed sheet? I've got no fucking idea how it got there, to be honest. These are all the cables I kept from these scale electric sets. And a power adapter. Because I thought power cables with that type of plug on would actually come in useful. Don't know what for, but I'm sure I can think of something. If I stand on one more fucking screw, I'm going to scream. Damn it, I said the F word a few times, and I. <sighs> right. I don't know, do I pipe with that JVC and stick that on eBay? Yeah, it's got all the battery and charger with it. Oh, look. I think I'll have some... Uh, fair. Try again. I think I'll do some research tomorrow on the cameras. See if it's worth it or not. Because if, it, if I'm only going to get pennies for it, then I'm not going to bother because it's not worth it. Um, it's an aluminium handlebar. I've only just noticed that. It's only because I looked at that end. <sighs> Forgot I charged that pocket PC. Is it still charged? And on. It is indeed, so it's got a good battery. It's over 24 hours it's been charged. I'd like to figure a way to get that online. You can get it online via Wi Fi, but I don't know how. Well, I know it needs a Wi-Fi device um, connected to it, but I don't know if it's got one on it. Well, I've got two fucking gnats buzzing around in here. Or mosquitoes. Something fucking buzzing around in here that can piss off. <laughs> Apparently my sister got stung by a bee yesterday. Probably being stung by a hornet. That's even worse. Trust me. I've been stung by a wasp, and apparently they are worse than bees. And I've been stung by a hornet. And believe me, those bastards hurt. That hurt a lot more than the wasp sting, and that sting was hanging around for a good week. I do hope I'm not going to have a shitty night's sleep again. I keep having these weird dreams, and then I'm waking up, and then I'm t just finding it so hard to fall back to sleep again. But when I fall back to sleep, I'm actually sleeping for several hours. So I sort of go to bed, go to sleep, wake up two or three hours later after having a dream, find it hard to go back to sleep, it can take anything up to an hour to fall back to sleep. And then I'm sort of sleeping for four or five hours. I've got a really weird sleeping pattern at the minute. <sighs> the weird dreams don't bother me, you know. I don't really have nightmares, I just have weird dreams. Right. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to talk about. <sighs> Could talk about the shopping precinct again, but... The only thing I can add to it is that I now know why it's in the state it's in, because uh, thanks to a, the town clerk, the town council, he's actually explained for us what the situation is. Um, the bottom line is the company that used to maintain it went bankrupt so that land went over to the Crown Estate which you can guess is the Royals 
royal estate may own it. Now, according to British law, and I didn't know this, but um, they're not obliged to maintain such land, so they're not obligated to maintain all the broken slabs and everything that's there. And because they haven't done any maintenance, they haven't touched it since it was, or since it's been in their ownership, that means they're not liable to anyone who has a fall or trip over anything, you know, a broken slab or anything in there either. Um, and that's the reason they haven't maintained it, because as soon as they do, they then become liable. <clears throat> so that's why the Crown Estate has left it. I think it's actually wrong myself. Because such an estate can afford to maintain such a place. But, um... Apparently we could, you know, we could get a group together. The town clerk said, you know, there's nothing preventing a group of people coming together to do the maintenance on the, um... Muck on my screen. To do the maintenance on the um, precinct. But the only problem is, if you do, you're then reliable to anyone that gets hurt because of it, so... <sighs> really, you'd want a business to go in there that specialises in such repairs, you know, like a paving company. Because they'll have public liability insurance, so if anything did happen, they're covered. Um, but if I did it and someone went and tripped over my work, then I'd be royally screwed, so to speak. Uh, which is probably why no one's keen, and not even the town council, to uh, take it on. Which I don't know why, because I don't see what diff difference um, it would make from, you know, maintaining the town centre and any other part of the town that the town council has to do. The same with the parks that they own. Um, I think the district council... There was a bloody fly, I wonder what the hell that was. Yeah, I thought I might have to put up the fly traps. Oh, that reminds me. Mum's got one of them tennis racket shaped things that's got all the metal wires going across it and uh, you press it, hold a button down on it and it electrifies all the wires. And then you're supposed to swat at flies and it electrocutes them and kills them. No, it doesn't. Either that or the batteries are getting a bit low because there's one stuck to the fly paper and it was still alive. So I was in fact, it was still alive and buzzing. The buzzing drives me up the friggin' wall. So I've got the tennis racket. And I'm not kidding. I had to zap the damn thing five times before it died from electrocution. In fact, I think the only reason it died is because the last time I did it was like a double zap. I got it twice in one go. Oh, Jesus. So I'm not sure if the batteries are just low or if them electrocute electrocution racket things are just shit. <clears throat> Mind you, we got it from down the tip for a quid, so who cares. Still in its packaging as well. <clears throat> oh dear. Right, so I'll pay for those games. If they get posted Thursday morning, I might get them Saturday if I'm lucky. Just depends when the seller posts them because not everyone runs eBay as a business. But it seems that a lot of people think everyone does. A lot of buyers think everyone does. So, you know, they expect it to either, their items to either be posted the same day or the very next day. But uh, there's a lot of people out there who work other jobs. So they may only be able to get to uh, the post office, say, on a Saturday morning. 
Well, I don't know about anywhere else, but our post office only stays open until about one o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. What are you doing? Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off. I don't know what I'm going to do from now. Actually, yes, I do. I'm going to put this footage up to the PC. Get it put together. Get it up on YouTube. And piss off to bed, so... I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.